Team, welcome back to another Gymless Program Coaches Rundown. Today's date is April the 3rd. Today's workout is a strength biased workout. You're going to be working through three different couplets, an upper body exercise and a lower body exercise. You're going to be working for 45 seconds continuously with a 15 second break, 45 seconds with a 15 second break. So you can set this up as an EMOM. Now we've said five sets, but we're going to allow you guys to choose four to five sets based on how you're feeling. So it's a little bit different from normal. Rather than working to repetitions, you're going to work to time. A little reminder, when we're doing strength bias work, we want to focus on tempo, so control in the eccentric and a squeeze at the top of each rep. We want to really focus on the muscles working here rather than just focusing on getting through the work as fast as possible. So make sure if you're using a backpack, you're loading up as heavy as possible, ensuring that you can execute all your sets for 45 seconds without breakdown of form. The first exercise is a bag one and one quarter back squat. You're going to place your backpack on your top of your shoulders. From here, you're going to perform a squat. Now, when you get to the bottom, you're going to come up a quarter, down a quarter, and then back up again. So that's going to show us one more repetition. Fantastic. Bag goes down. If you have a kettlebell, you're just going to load this in your goblet position. Exactly the same. Down to the bottom, quarter up, quarter down, and back up. If you've got a dumbbell, exactly the same. Dumbbell loaded in a goblet position. Down, quarter up, quarter down, and finish. To make this hard for the 45 seconds, minimize how much time you spend in your standing position. As soon as you stand up, go straight into your next rep. The next exercise is a two-arm supine towel row. Now, we've included a video of how to set this up in your door. Because we don't have a door in the gym today, we're going to demonstrate on a lower pull-up bar. Set your two towels up. From here, the deeper you step yourselves under, the more challenging it's going to be. Because it's 45 seconds of work, trust me, you're not going to need to go that low. From here, pull yourself up and control back down. Good. Minimal time spent in the full hang position. As soon as you straighten your arms, you go straight back into your next rep. If you do have a pull-up bar available to you, you can just perform pull-ups here, either strict or kipping variations. Or if you have a low pull-up bar, you can perform an inverted rope. We're now talking about our second couplet for today. Your first exercise is going to be a front-loaded bag cyclist squat. Now, a cyclist squat is essentially the same as an air squat. The only difference is we're going to elevate our heels on something. So for here, we have an ab mat, but at home, it can be something like a couple of books, anything which elevates your heels. Now, Sad's going to go to the bottom of the cyclist squat. You're going to notice that the feet are set much narrower than normal. The heel elevation is going to allow us to drive our knees over our toes more. It's going to allow us to really focus on our quads. So Sad's going to stand up and he's going to move continuously through these cyclo squats. Squeeze in the bag, keeping your belly nice and tight. Really focus on driving your knees as far over your toes as possible. The next exercise is a decline push-up. So we have a few progressions for you guys here. First and foremost, you're going to have your knees on a bench, a sofa, or a chair. And you're going to bring your nose to something like a book where you're not going all the way to the floor. But now notice we're maintaining a hollow position through the trunk at all times here. We're not arching to the lower back, but we're not focusing on bringing the chest to the floor here. We're focusing on bringing your nose to the floor. If you bring in your chest, you're going to lose your position. A progression, you stay on your knees, get rid of the ab mat or get rid of the book. So now we're increasing range of motion, still on your knees. From here, we're going to progress to feet on the bench. Now again, if your feet are on the bench, you can start by going to an ab mat or a book to start. So again, shorten the range of motion. Fantastic, or we can get rid of that altogether and work all the way to the floor. Now for 45 seconds, this is gonna be really tough, so don't be afraid to start on the kneeling variation even if you're good at this exercise. Moving on to our last couplet for today, your first exercise is a bag loaded step up. Now we advise putting a bag on top of the shoulder here. The step up can be done, of course, if you have a bench or a step at home, otherwise a sofa or a chair will do. You know, alternate your legs. Now, if you're doing one bag on the shoulder each round, make sure you alternate which shoulder your bag is on. Good, if you have a dumbbell, you have a few options here. You can either load it in a goblet position in front of you and do your step ups here, or you can load it in one arm in a front rack position same as a bag, make sure you alternate legs. If you have a kettlebell, exactly the same. We're going to start with a goblet position. 
And again, you can also place the kettlebell in a front rack position on one side. Our last strength exercise for today is a bag loaded, tall kneeling bicep curl. So rather than using a towel today, you're gonna to grab your bag and you're gonna squeeze each end of the bag. Now just squeezing alone is gonna bring tension onto the biceps. And then from your straight arm position, you're just curling up continually for 45 seconds. Really important that when you're going through this movement, you're actually squeezing the bag hard. That's gonna get your biceps and your pecs working a lot harder. Now, if you have a dumbbell and just one dumbbell, we advise squeezing each end of the dumbbell exactly the same we did in the bag. So squeeze that dumbbell, get your pecs and biceps turned on, move through your repetitions. And again, if you have a kettlebell, the same idea, squeeze in on each end of the kettlebell, either this way or with the kettlebell handle facing downwards and move through your bicep curls. Again, squeezing on the object is gonna make your arms and upper body work harder. We're gonna be finishing today's workout with a 10 minute grinder piece. The grinder piece meaning we're really focusing on the trunk, slow controlled isometric movements and holds. To start, we're gonna do an L set. We're gonna show you three variations of the L set. The first one is a straddle leg lift off. So from here, Sad presses into the floor for 20 seconds. He's lifting his legs as high as he can. He's just gonna hold that position. Good, level two is gonna to move to a chair or a bench and we're gonna do a bent knee L sit variation. So you lift the butt off the floor and hold. Now, even in this position, say I can make it harder by extending his legs. Good, and then the full most challenging progression is on the floor. Hands by your sides, lift and hold. This is gonna be the most challenging L sit. The next movement is a windmill. Now you're gonna do a windmill with a bag here. What we're looking at is the arm has to stay straight at all times, keep your eyes up towards a bag. You can either keep your legs straight or have a slight bend in your knees. Really focusing on the shoulder more than anything here, shoulder and thoracic. If you don't have a bag and you have a kettlebell, we're gonna perform the exact same movement here. Over your head, eyes up towards the kettlebell, slide through. If you have a dumbbell, Exactly the same thing again. We're going to complete all the reps on one arm, followed by all the reps on the other arm. Beautiful. The last movement in the grinder is going to be a side plank. Now we have some variations. Level one, which is already very challenging, is just a regular side plank. Level two is you're going to bend your top knee and then lift it off as high as you can. So we're bringing the glute into it as well. Level three is you're going to straighten that top leg and that is your full star plank. Team, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Hope the coaching notes help. Have fun with today's workout.